Jason Creel and uh, continuing on with our 10 most asked questions in the lawn business. Today we're going to talk about what kind of equipment do you need in the lawn business. And when I started lawn business that was one of the biggest questions I had and one of the things I tried to do the most research on is you know what kind of mower do I buy, what kind of weed eater, what you know things like that because it's a lot of money and you don't want to buy the wrong kind. So. Uh, let me start with th with that point in what I just said. You don't want to buy the wrong kind. I think a lot of times you get on lawn business forums and you see some really opinionated people saying that you know if you, if if you don't use steel, you're wrong, or if you, if it's not a, a X mark or a whatever brand, uh, as if there's only one brand that'll do the job. And and from me, you'll hear my preferred brand but I don't I'm not adamant just on one brand is the only kind that you can use um, you know there's a lot of good brands out there I just happen to be partial to to certain types so uh, for a zero turn mower if I'm just starting in the lawn business focus on residentials people ask you know if you could just buy one mower what do you buy when I start I start with a 44 inch hustler mower and I love that mower and I, it was a good mower and I think it's a good size if you're just doing residential a little small for, for uh, larger properties but you know a 44 42 48 inch decks good for residential I still to this day am partial to the hustler mower I think it's um, you know it's my number one choice uh, I would not be ashamed at all to use an X mark or Skag, uh, you know, other good brands. You know, Ferris is it makes a good mower. You know, and, and there's other kinds that are fine. But those, you know, like I said, my top three would be a Hustler, Next Mark, and a Skag. You know, and really partial to Hustler is because that's what I've had the most experience with. Uh, as far as your weed eater or weed whacker, whatever you call it, uh, to me this is the hardest category to find a decent product. You know. Uh, Back in the day, a good steel uh, was was what people use and last. A steel today is not what they used to be. I still, um, no pun intended, would use a steel. I do do have that, and uh, and a Husqvarna would be my other choice. I, I I'd give a slight edge to my Husqvarna. It's a little bit lighter. Uh, seems to have less maintenance required. The steel seems to have to get the valves adjusted, but either way, steel or Husqvarna, I think you'll be fine. You know, Edger, I use an old Echo Edger, but you know, same brand of, of Edger would work as your weed eater. Um, hedge trimmers, if you're just gonna have one set, and I do recommend go ahead and getting some hedge trimmers if you can, because it's just one piece of equipment that can make you a lot of money. I, I just have the, a, a really long set. I mean, sometimes you'll buy a short set, long set. I go ahead and just get the long set. I feel like they're more comfortable to use. They're uh, easier on your back. And so I, I've got a, I've had Shindow, I've had Steel, I've had Echo, you know. Um, I know this may sound weird, but if you can find a, a little bit older set, you know, the gray Echo as opposed to the orange Echo, uh, it's in good condition. You know, a lot of times you buy them on, if you type for uh, on your budget, you can get them off eBay for a lot less than you would, you know, in the store. So uh, right now I've got a steel set, and they're the the really long uh, kind, and, they, and they're working great. So uh, as far as backpack blower, I personally use Red Max, uh, and that again, that's my top choice. I, I a steel would be fine, uh, though again steels today seem to have to constantly have to get their valves adjusted they start losing power quickly where i've uh, literally had my red maxes fall off the truck you know multiple times they keep running and over years uh, keep their power up so i i've been thrilled to death with the red max blowers uh, husqvarna too husqvarna actually owns red max so uh, you, you'll do fine with the husqvarna as well um, I think if I'm leaving anything out, I think that's pretty much it, you know, for the main uh, lawn care equipment. I mean, obviously you need a truck and a trailer, but uh, anyway, that's it for today. Thanks a lot.